when you have hip pain, uh, it can take different uh, uh, shapes and develop different signs and symptoms for the patient. Uh, primarily pain is a main feature, but all hip pain does not need to be treated surgically. It can be the different parts of your hip which may be developing uh, painful uh, stimulus, uh, and this could be related to the joint potentially, um, but the joint doesn't necessarily need to um, be um, uh, in any type of degeneration um, or arthritis. If that was the case, then yes, uh, an operation may be indicated, uh, but it all depends on your symptoms, how bad your symptoms are, how it affects you, and it could also be related to, if it's not the joint, it could be related to the ligaments, could be related to the muscles around the hip joint itself. And each specific type of pain you get in your joint around the hip is treated and managed differently. Um, but yeah, if it was just primarily arthritis of the hip and it was end stage and it was really affecting your quality of life, then yes, that would be something we could talk about managing surgically. Yeah, so uh, as I mentioned previously, there are uh, our hip joints, our bodies generally are quite complex um, bits of machinery, in fact, and they're designed to um, provide locomotion, which means movement from one place to the next. And as a result, the hip joint itself is called a ball and socket joint. Around the, this ball and socket joint, you have the uh, articular cartilage within the joint itself, you then have a capsule and ligaments surrounding that hip joint, and you have muscles, and then you have the skin layer. Each of those parts of your hip joint can cause uh, pain at any moment in your life, depending on if you have sustained trauma, uh, if you've sustained any type of injury, uh, that could be related to sports as well. And depending on that, you will have certain specific signs and symptoms that will give you, um, that will alert the expert who is managing you to the actual source of your pain and then to manage your symptoms appropriately. A hip replacement is performed on patients who have got a confirmed diagnosis of arthritis and that is confirmed from their clinical examination and history and also from their uh, imaging, usually pertaining to x-rays. Once the diagnosis is confirmed, we then discuss with the patient about uh, hip replacement surgery and this then, pro once they are in agreement, they undergo a pre-op assessment and they're then taken to theatre on a set date and they are then operated on in theater. And this can be done either under a spinal anesthetic, which is similar to an epidural where your legs are essentially numb, but you are, uh, you are uh, predominantly awake, but you can be sedated as well if required. If the spinal is not appropriate for you or uh, does not work, then a general anesthetic can be utilized in order for you to have the procedure as well. So all in all, it's a very well thought out procedure. It's been done for many tens of years now, and we have very good outcomes. And in fact, it is probably one of the best operations that we can do in orthopedics when we look at the quality uh, years of life improved after the procedure. Uh, there are various things that can happen if you leave your hip pain untreated. Uh, depending on what may be the cause of your hip pain, uh, it can potentially have a detrimental effect. For example, if you have arthritis and you uh, manage to continue with your symptoms, taking painkillers and lifestyle modifications and physiotherapy, etc., uh, and maybe even injection, that's great. But over time, the hip joint will continue to wear out and it could get to a stage where the bones themselves start to erode. So in that case, it can make a subsequent uh, treatment, such as a hip replacement, much more difficult and challenging for the surgeon, but also 
can make your recovery longer as well as it becomes a complex procedure. And also, if you have, for example, uh, any sports injuries, any ligament or muscle injuries, um, if those are neglected and you do not rest and do not do the physiotherapy and potentially, um, uh, you know, there is uh, a tendency for these injuries to linger and to continue. And if you do not give your uh, body the time that it needs to rest, then it can definitely affect you adversely as well. But a lot of things will settle down in time and you don't necessarily need to see an expert uh, in that as your GP or um, other healthcare professionals can help you with that. Uh, but when it becomes intolerable, then the, at that time you do need to seek medical advice. Normally, once a hip replacement is done, you will be seen in the clinic usually at six weeks, uh, then normally at about 12 months. After those 12 months, it then depends on the discussion you have with your uh, surgeon and the patient. And they may be at a position where they're doing very well and they can be discharged at that stage. If they require further input, then that can be provided on a yearly basis. I like to call it like a bit of an MOT where we are checking on your joint as it's done. Over time, what can happen is the hip replacement, as it is a mechanical joint, again, just like your ball and socket joint naturally is, it can wear out. And if it does wear out, we usually give a ballpark figure of about 10 to 15 years of it wearing out. And after that time, you will realize that you will start to get some more pain, your mobility will be affected, and generally the symptoms will deteriorate in your hip. And at that point, you would need to see a surgeon who can then appropriately investigate you and then manage the uh, joint that uh, is possibly developing a problem. And that in itself, um, we are hoping now with our newer technology that we have, that the rate of revisions will hopefully be less. Um, and in fact, even the older implants that have been put in many years ago, 40, even 50 years ago now, some of them are still surviving. So we are quite heartened by the fact that the materials that we're using now are much more um, uh, enhanced and we are expecting them to last longer. But nevertheless, there is always a possibility of revision uh, following surgery. And that again is something that we can manage for you uh, rather expertly.